Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys here in location in Bang Zoom Entertainment. I'm Christian Ocampo and today I'm joined by Judy Ann Taylor. Hello. Hello, Hello. Judy. Hi. How are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Honored to be in the studio. Right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's very nice. Stop, stop, stop games. A lot of candy anime. around, a lot of sodas in the fridge. <laughs> anime manga right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's a blast. So we have a few questions to ask you for this interview. Okay. First of all, what's it like working in the industry today? It is, it's awesome. It's exciting, fun, challenging, and um, you know, I've been, I've been working in the industry for a little over 20 years, so um, wow. it's changed, of course, over the years. Um, now we do all of our auditions from home and send them, you know, uh, through an email. Uh, back in the day, we used to run all over town to audition, and you know that was fun. That was that was fun too. Um, but in that in that regard, it's it's changed a little. And um, but you know, I um I I so many of my friends are in the industry, and so that makes it really that makes it really fun. Yeah. Nice. All right. So, what's your favorite show you have worked on? Favorite show that I've worked on. That that one's really hard <laughs> because you know, uh, doing it twenty years, it's like, oh my gosh, how how where would I how would I even begin to choose? Um, so I would say probably on my top top lists are um, any any show that I've worked on with um, Wendy Lee. Um, directing or Tony Oliver directing. Um, I loved playing I Tanabe and Planetes. That was totally fun. Um, mostly because you know Tony's a great director and we had a blast and the character was fun and it was well written. Um, so that that would be you know one of them. But in general, um, I I like the comedy roles. So if I had to answer generally, I would say those are my favorite. Yeah. And also, um, playing roles that I didn't necessarily know I could play. Um, like I remember um, um, getting cast in Please Teacher, and you know Ichigo is, you know, her voice is lower and you know she's quiet and serious and has a lot of wisdom for her age. But I did not know I could. I had no idea I could play that kind of voice. And um, Kayeko, who was casting, she was like. I want you to audition for this role, and she kind of directed it out of me. You know, she was like, okay, no, lower. She was like, okay, go lower. And I was like, I don't know if I can go lower. Um, so we, we kind of just, like, found it, you know, together, and that was um, that was super fun. That And that show was super fun. And just the comedy in, in that role, you know, with, with Ichigo was super fun. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. Give it Top three or four, I think. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's hard to choose just one. It's fine. Yeah. All right, so another series you worked on, what was that working on? Code Geass. Code Geass. Um, yes. It. I have a special place in my heart for Kevin Seymour, the director, who recently passed away. Um, he was the one who originally taught me how to do ADR. So... Back in the day, um, he was working on a show, and he, he brought me in. I was brought in through a friend of his and uh, introduced to him, and he, he, like, literally took me through, you know, how you do this. And this was, this was before there were beeps. I'm sure you've heard, you know, that as voice actors, we have these three beeps <laughs> when we're trying to mouth, uh, match mouth flaps, right, in ADR. And so you have these three beeps. And that you're hearing in your headphones, and on the fourth imaginary, the, on the fourth beep that's not there, you're imagining it, is when you start your line. So um, there, there once was a time <laughs> when there were no beeps, and um, I learned I had to learn how to do ADR without the beeps, just watching the time code, and you know, um, I have a, I have some sense of timing because you know I. Um, uh, played the piano and I had some musical background so I could kind of like tune into it just intuitively, you know, and then with watching the time code, t get it down, you know, but it, it's challenging. I mean, it's a real skill 
to replace the dialogue in a, in a show, whether it's animated or live action. It's, it's a real skill. And he taught me how to do that. So loved working on Code Geass. Anytime I could work with Kevin, it was amazing. And Millie Ashford, you know, totally fun character, <laughs> right? Class president. Yeah. So um, it was a blast. It was a, it's a great memory that I have, you know. And especially now it means more that, that Kevin's uh, not with us anymore. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Another uh, series you worked on. What was that working on? Honey and Clover. Honey and Clover. <laughs> Honey and Clover. See, it just makes me laugh already. Oh, uh, God. Fun. Silly, fun, lighthearted, you know, um, working with Renee Vaya from uh, Verite Entertainment. He, he is, like, really fast-paced, so I dig that, you know? It's like you get into a rhythm and you just go, and um, it, it was a blast, you know, because I had a great time. Yeah. Another little cute show we worked on was that working on Rosen Maiden. <laughs> cute show. That a very cute show. All those dolls, right? Oh my god. Actually that, that show kind of freaked me out because <laughs> because of the old man and you know the Alice game and remember when Al Alex directed it, Alex von David directed it and he was telling me like, Yeah, it, they're playing this game. It's called the Alice game, but like you know, um, they all have to die for there to be one winner, and I was horrified. I was like, what? <laughs> What's happening in this anime? Because, um, you know, we, um, as voice actors, we don't, we, don't get, we don't get, like, an entire script ahead of time. We don't get any script ahead of time. But, so you don't, you don't necessarily know the whole story of it, and you don't have that luxury of, like, knowing it. So your director is, like, giving you, like, a brief overview of what's going on, but I just remember being a little bit freaked out, and I'm like, and I have, I have two different color eyes, and I have big scissors, and <laughs> I'm, like, slashing people up, and, <laughs> um, but it was fun. It, you know, Alex, um, I, I love working with Alex because he's another one that's, like, like, gets you into a rhythm, and he, um, he creates a great team atmosphere between like himself and the sound engineer and if there's a producer in the room and the actor and like you know um everybody's like on their game and just it's it's like a galloping horse you know like getting into that rhythm and creating a product and um i love i love that about alex and he um he often he and i i think often make different choices from one another so um and we respect that about each other and I always feel like oh wow I, I learned you know another way to do it because I, I can hear how Alex wanted it you know and it what it wouldn't be maybe my first choice but it was a choice that like really worked so um yeah I, I really respect him yeah so we have a little funny question to ask you okay. if you can be any character you have played in real life yeah. We be and you can mix and match. I can mix and match. That, that's good. That's a <laughs> that's a lot of characters. Um, first of all, I'd want to look like somebody amazing, like Millie Ashford. Or <laughs> I don't want to look like somebody incredible. Um, and you know, as far as personality, I mean, I don't know. That like Sophia Forrester comes to mind. Last Exile because she was so regal and you know, just lovely, and, um, that was another show that was well, well, well written, um, but also, like, a funny little character comes to mind, like, Rerin from Bleach, like, I'd love to be a little smart-ass little bird <laughs> with blue boots <laughs> flying all around, so, um, you know, yeah, some of those put together. <laughs> all right. So, what was that working on? Blaze Blue. Blaze Blue was very challenging, and it was a lot of fun. And I really had a stretch for Kokonoi because that character, that kind of character who's, well, she was a real smartass. Um, she's a real smartass. But scientist, you know, it's, it's like not where I live. Like, you know, I'm like over here, and Kokonoi is like way over here. So, um, it was a professional challenge and stretch, and I had a blast. I mean, it, I worked my butt off. I really did. Yeah. 
It was great fun. It's great fun to be a character who, who's like wisecracking like that. <laughs> really a lot of fun. All right, another series we worked on. What was it like working on Old Nora Zero? Old Nora Zero was also a character that I don't, you know, it's not where I live, so to speak. Um, uh, Captain Magbaraj. Um, she, uh, just in her speech, um, because she's military, you know, it's more formal and was great working with Lex because Lex is like, he has that kind of cadence down and plays a lot of those kind of characters. And so he really helped me. He really helped me to, because um, where I live naturally is very up and down and colorful in the voice. And, you know, it's like, no, this kind of character is much more even across vocally. And so he, um, he, he was great. He just gave me great direction and settled me into that character really nicely. So... It was, it was a pleasure. Yeah. It's a popular show. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's great. All right. Uh, William, question. What was that working on Soul Calibur? Soul Calibur was fun. You know, video games for me are, um, they take so much energy. And there was a lot of fight cues in that show. Um, Hildegard von Krone, a um, lot of fight cues, and um, I, I mean, they, they exhaust you, <laughs> they exhaust me anyway, <laughs> um, usually with a video game session, um, they book you for like in a four hour increment, um, so it's, it's like you, you are exhausted by the end of it, you know, you just like want to, you just like need to go home and go to sleep or have a drink, <laughs> one of the two or both, um, but, and that was a blast. And one time I was in um, GameStop with my son. He, we were getting him a game. And uh, I was like, I'm going to tell this guy. I'm going to tell this guy. Because um, cause Soul Calibur was sitting on the shelf. And so I go to the guy, hey, I'm in that. And he's like, what? <laughs> I go, yeah, I voice, I voice one of the characters in that. And he wanted to know who it was. And I told him. And, you know, I, I'm not sure if he totally believed me. <laughs> but uh, that was fun. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. Good times. <laughs> All right. So is there anything else coming out that you can talk about or anything you just want to plug in this time? Um, I have a few things. I can't, I can't say what they are of a commer national commercial coming out, which is very exciting. Um, a couple games, video games I'm not allowed to talk about yet. Um, and then um, it's funny, you know, I mean, I think I've waited like a year with some video games before you can actually talk about it. So it's like, by the time it comes out, it's like, oh yeah, I was in that, wasn't I? <laughs> um, and I have, um, I'm one of the Witches Five, going to be coming up in Sailor Moon. So that'll be great fun. And um, I, I'm doing an interview with the Ohio guys. <laughs> so look for that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. Final question. And we ask this to everyone we interview. Any Facebook, Twitter, oh, yeah. or any other social media for the fans to contact you? Yeah. So um, I'm on Facebook, and it's Julie Ann Taylor, voice actress. And I'm on uh, Twitter. That's um, Mrs. Julie A. Ta at Mrs. Julie A. Taylor. Yeah. That's the Twitter one. Yeah. Well, we want to thank you for, for you joining me for an interview. I also want to thank Bang Zoom for letting me use the green room today, and we appreciate their time and space. So, everyone, thank you again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. I'm Christian. And I'm Julianne Taylor. Bye. Bye.